in today's aviation industry, we are used to instrumented landing systems, where we use ground-based systems. Increasingly, in the regional market, we are flying under VFR conditions because the airfields today do not use instrumented landing systems. But we have the advantage and we have the great potential to use satellite-based systems for our navigation. This is really at the heart of performance-based navigation. VNAV permits a straight-in approach as an instrumented landing. The main advantages for the flight crew is a reduction in workload and uh, the ability to fly greater speeds on the approach and to fly more optimised approach paths. The system will now calculate for me the time when I need to start my descent, the time when I need to slow down. It will also calculate uh, for me the adjustments to my approach path depending on changing wind and changing local conditions. Whereas with a conventional type approach, I need to make all those calculations for myself. That has major benefits for the flight crew in that it's predictable and major benefits for the company in uh, fuel saving and time saving. Uh, our operation over the last five years has progressively cut fuel block hours uh, to below 660 kilograms per hour and at the moment the fleet is averaging about 640 kilograms uh, per block hour. LPV approach exactly like to fly an ILS approach, except that the sensor is different. Instead of receiving ground stations, you just receive the GPS signals with the enhanced signal thanks to EGNOS or OWAS to have more accuracy to allow the precision approach. ETIA was the first company to fly LPV 200 approaches in Charles de Gaulle last year. The final benefit comes from the RNP-AR approach because you are not obliged now to have straight-in approach. We can fly curved radiuses and we can shorten up the track miles onto, uh, onto final to landing. Typical examples would save uh, 20 to 25 track miles per approach and uh, that has the benefit obviously of time saving and, uh, and fuel savings. In some cases, us priority with air traffic control. As an example, in the mountainous terrain of uh, the South Island of New Zealand, uh, we'll reduce our missed approaches in Queenstown using RMPAR from approximately 60 missed approaches per winter to less than five, uh, with the benefit of uh, reduced uh, fuel, uh, less passenger disruption, and uh, less disruption to our schedule. Our PBN training is part of the standard uh, recurrent training package. We have also developed a train the trainer course, which we recommend airlines to choose in order to gain competencies and become quickly autonomous on this training. Clearly, when we look at safety facts and figures, uh, the approach phase remains an area of focus where we want to improve safety. From an ATR perspective, we continue to look at procedures and technology such as enhanced vision to further help our flight crews improve the safety margins every day of ATR operations. Mm -hmm.